Come on, you're hiding your head. It's sunshine. Come out. There we go. <laughs> Come on. No, the back this way. Let's go use the bathroom. Let's go use the bathroom. Look at all those colors. You're beautiful. No, you don't need to be in your tote. You need to go use the bathroom. Yes, you do. He's like, oh, I'm out. First thing, look at the tail. Straight up in there. Mm. That didn't take you long. I know what you needed, huh? So I had to use the bathroom, Mama. Yep. Yep, tail up in there. <laughs> He's tasting his own tail. That's wacky. April's over there. April's over there laying on her towel, her sheet. Hey, what do you see? Potty day. Time to come out and go potty. He was begging so bad this morning to go out. You get him out? Everybody asked me how I toilet trained my snakes. I really didn't train them to do anything. Snakes are fully capable of learning routines and since they were babies, I brought them out in plastic totes. So, my snakes associate the plastic tote with going outdoors. And they don't like to excrete waste in their enclosures because they're used to coming outside to do it. So, all I do when I see them pacing to use the bathroom is I take the tote over by the enclosure, open the door, they come out and get in the tote. I close it, bring them outside. I bring them out, take the top off. Then they come out. Use the bathroom when they're done. And they've been roaming around a little bit and excrete away, so get back in the plastic coat and go back indoors with me. To, that's their way of saying, okay, I'm done. Let's go back in my house. So I bring them back in, set the tote by their enclosure. And if I don't have to refresh the enclosure, then I open the door up and open the tote up. They climb right back up in, in their enclosure. So it's really that simple. People think these are stupid animals. They really aren't. They're very capable of learning routines. And we're not stupid. Not at all. April's over there. You gonna go see her? Gonna go see April? Wanna go see April? Come on. Hey. Psst, psst. Let's go see April. There. Go see April. There you go. So grass is a little damp. Don't point your tail at me. Put it over there. There you go. Yeah, point your tail that way. And the grass is tickling his stomach because Eddie just mowed it. Look. He doesn't want his stomach touching it. Oh, we're going to potty. Okay. It's that time. Say it's that time. Yep. Go ahead and do your deal. You read mine? Part. You read mine? Yeah. Show him out Crazy Mary's here. Who? Crazy Mary. Okay. Yeah, he knows. I'm cleaning out that mess for him. For okay, I know who you are. Okay, yeah, Crazy Mary. Honey. All right, huh? I've been called crazy snake lady, but hey, you come back over here and use the bathroom. Uh, there, we're going potty. Yeah, we're going to the bathroom today. Go get April. Go see April. I want you to use the bathroom. Go use the bathroom. Uh, come get on mama time, huh? Come get on mama time. Hey. Hello. So I, I'm a man. I'm out here with all these lovely ladies. This is what a life this is. Hey there. You know, we got 10 acres and you're always on me. I don't get it. You got plenty of room to go play. You know, 
if you if you think about your snakes from a different point of view, don't think of them as just this lazy, lay around, inanimate living creature, but think of them as their potential to learn and express themselves. You'll see things that'll amaze you about them, how intelligent they really are. You gonna go get back in the tote? No, you're not, because you didn't use the bathroom yet. You gotta go use the bathroom. <laughs> now he's up and going. And all he ever eats is colossal rats. And he's a big boy because he gets tons of exercise. If you don't want fat, lazy snakes, let them have some exercise. They can only go so far and do so much inside of an enclosure in a cage. So, you know, they're really not getting a lot of exercise living in a box. I tell people this all the time. They want to know why my snakes are all so big. It's because they're muscular, strong, healthy animals. They're not fat, lazy animals. Where are you going? So I'm going to go get in the shade on the other side of this plastic coat. I'm waiting for him to start climbing it because he's going to flip it right over as heavy as he is. Hey, you. That sun's pretty hot. It's early in the day, too, for it to be that hot. Hi, Joe. Look at that pretty tail. Look at that pretty tail. Where are you off to? Hmm? Where are you off to? He's trying to get back on it. You're, you can't go back in yet. You didn't go use the bathroom. No, we're not going back in the house until you go to the bathroom. Nope. Yeah, he is. He says, yes, I am. I'm getting back in here out of the sun. It's going to fall over. You're going to crash. You're going to crash. Whoop. There you went. Boy, what a comparison his size to yours. No, you're going to come back to me, aren't you? Go see April. Here. Come here. The sheet's off. The grass is bugging you. There. Go see April. Oh, Chewy. You're such a brat. You're a spoiled rotten brat. Yeah, you are. You're a spoiled rotten brat. <laughs> What are you doing? So I'm spoiled rotten. Yeah, I am. Bird watching. <coughs> Sinus thing. Oh my god. Hey. You bird watching this morning? I see her and watch you. You need to go use the bathroom, pal. Yeah. Watching the birds. Well, we start the addition to the house this coming week when my contractor gets back from North Dakota. And that's going between the storage building in the front and the see where that between those two small windows in my house so it's going to be a nice big snake room it's going to be taller than my house so I can't wait to get it done give me a little more room inside my house at least but Chewy's got to stay near me where he can see me all the time so his enclosure won't be going out into the addition he has to be always in eye contact with me or he freaks out so he'll be staying where he is that plastic's going to get warm. You can't get on there. I don't want you burning your belly. No, we're not doing that. So, Mama, you worry too much about us. That's something people need to think about when you take your snakes outdoors. Don't let them on concrete. Don't let them on sand and gravel, asphalt, things that have been exposed to the sun because they're going to be really hot. And that's a real good way to burn your snake's stomach on them. 
and they're attracted to heat so they don't identify with the repercussions from being on that hot surface like a person would so really don't let them on hot <laughs> well, hi there you know, what do you want but before you take them outdoors be real cautious about the surfaces that you let them on you don't want them on anything super hot to burn their stomach their belly and uh, do any skin damage hello what are you doing <clears throat> Very entertaining animals, to say the least. Where are you going? Oh, you're on my foot. You're going to get tied up in my shoelace. Nice bite, April. You going over to get her? Bird watching. Look at this. Standing straight up on my shoe. Hunting birds. So I'm looking for birds, Mom. <laughs> you know... I don't know anybody that has snakes is ever bored. They're so entertaining. You can invest so much time with them, spending time with them, you know, hanging out with them, entertaining them. They're really very amazing animals. Are you cozy? And this crap of snakes sizing you up when they lay down beside you, that's the biggest crack of crap anyone ever put out on the internet. Snakes do not have tape measures. They do not measure you up. If they're hungry, they'll strike you, they'll bite you, and they'll constrict you, and they'll eat you. They don't measure you up. If they're hungry, they'll eat it. They don't care how big it is or what it is. So, you know, people need to quit spreading all this bad information around about snakes. And the surprising part is, as I've been told on several circumstances, that with situations that vets are the ones that are telling people that own snakes this. People, vets believe that they really shouldn't have a license because it's the farthest thing from the truth. Your snakes don't size up their food. They'll look it over. They're curious. Uh, I've never seen a snake running around with a tape measure to measure up anything. So the myths about snakes is just amazing. You're in my armpit. That tickles. Excuse me. You're in my armpit, goofball. Uh, it's a camera. Hey, Hollywood. You're right on me. Everybody calls him Hollywood because he loves a camera. Really? Chewy. Hey, handsome. Hey there. You can spend your whole day entertaining snakes. They love it. If they're used to it, they really enjoy it. Right next to me. You're always right. Uh-oh. Tail's up in the air and you're right by my shoe. We're going to rearrange my body on that note. There we go. We're finally going to go. Finally going to use the bathroom. You found a spot you like. Yep, tail up. Go get April. Hey. I heard him. Birds up there in the trees. Those big trees over there on the back right hand corner of my house are going to have to come down eventually too because they're getting up there real fast I'm not going to run the risk of having any trees dropping on my house anymore I've had enough of that especially with the new snake room addition going up it'll be well protected though it's going to be between the storage building right there and my house so it'll definitely be out of trees range it's going to be the tallest building out of the three naturally but it will definitely be out of range of those trees which was my primary goal to get my snakes out of that part of the house where those trees are always hovering over i did have a lot of trees removed it cost me quite a bit of money but it was so worth it money's not the issue when it comes to the safety of your animals it really isn't
It might be easy to say, but it's the way I am. They always come first. April's over there going, tell that woman to shut up. She's driving me crazy. April's taking some battery. It's a great life. Can't beat it. You gonna use the bathroom or no? This is all they do, just hang out with you and look around. Very curious animals. And as I previously stated, very intelligent animals. They really need to do a lot more research on snakes. They'd be amazed what they find as far as their intelligence levels go. Be awed by what you discover. So I'm off, I'm leaving. sun is getting hot. I won't have him out here much longer. He'll be huffing and puffing. Uh, so I'll be huffing and puffing. It's warm out here. big.